It is described as a rare gathering of several military aircraft mm -hmm. and the chance to step back in time. Today starts Heavy Bombers Weekend here in Madison. Mary Jo all alive at Dane County Region with more. Mike has really framed you up really nicely this morning. With that. Yeah, we've been admiring your oh, shots. Great shots. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good to know that we're, all, we're looking good out here at Dane County Regional Airport. But Robin Chart, we've been talking a lot about this Heavy Bombers weekend, and one of the things that you'll get to do if you come out is learn so much about these ex-military plants and ask the experts themselves, the pilots, all the questions you want. Now with us this morning are some of the pilots that will be here for the weekend. We have George Dobner, who is the B-17 pilot, and then Ed Besley, who's the SB-2C Hell Diver. That's a mouthful, but thanks so much, guys, for being with us. For starters, George, can you tell us about what makes the B-17 so special and why should people come out to come see it? The, the B-17 is extraordinarily special because it was designed in 1934, 1935. Ten years prior to that, airplanes were made of tube, wood, and fabric. So this airplane was a quantum leap in technology just from an aviation point of view. And then there were thousands of them that were lost during the war. And there were 10 American airmen flying on that airplane, on, any, on, on every airplane that flew. It, about, third, they had a 30% chance, the crew did, a 30% chance of not getting back from any single mission. So what makes this thing special is, is what it meant to America and, the, and what it meant to the flight crews that flew the airplanes because they were heroes. They were it, it, Tom Brokaw used to say, the generation that saved the world, those are the people that flew those airplanes. And it's quite a plan and noisy like we just had a, like a, we can expect from here at the Dane County Regional Airport with all the plans going on. So thanks so much, George. And Ed, I wanted to check in with you about the SB2C. You said... What makes this one so rare? Is it the only one in the world? Is that right? Well, representing the commemorative Air Force, of course, is the B-29, which is the last of the flying B-29s. It was the airplane that followed the B-17 as a bomber, both in World War II and Korea. Over 18,000 were built. There's only one flying. The B-24 that is here, as uh, with the CAF, uh, there was over 21,000. I think I gave you the wrong number. 21,000 B-24s. Uh, and there's only one, two of those flying in the world. In the Helldiver, over 7,000 were built. And there's only five left in the world. There's only one flying. So that's the unique experience of having what most people would have experienced when they were young in World War II, between bombers and the dive bomber. That's what you would have seen then. Now you get to see it here. Real quick, why should people come out to heavy bombers this weekend? Well, for the appreciation of the greatest generation that was referenced before, if it was not for the men and women that worked and flew back then, we, uh, the outcome of the war would have been significantly different. That is the appreciation that we are trying to express for veterans of World War II. Well, thanks so much, Ad Vasily, George Dobner, again for being with us this morning. You can check out Heavy Bombers Weekend starting today, runs till Sunday. Again, Robin Charlotte, a great time and an event worth checking out.